Hi, I am Pim, and I will guide you through this tutorial. In this tutorial we will be building a simple CRM application, integrate it with an ERP system, and finish it with graphically representing data. And all of this in only, 6, minutes. Let's get started. The first step is to build the data model. In this case we create a data list of contacts. WEM allows you to create very complex data models. But for this tutorial we keep it simple. For each contact we register name, company and last contact date. The next step is to create the application logic. WEM uses a unique mechanism for this, flowcharts. We start by opening the home flowchart. In this flowchart we add a blue so-called interaction node. This tells WEM to display a screen. We connect the start node to the interaction node. This way we tell WEM, that displaying this screen is the first thing for the application to do. For each action the user can initiate, add, edit and delete a contact, we add an exit to the interaction node. To add a contact, we drag the contacts data list on the canvas, and tell when to add a row to that list. And we connect the add exit to this new node. Now we need another screen where the user can enter the details of the new contact. We hit the overlay switch, to make the screen a pop-up window. On this screen, the user needs to be able to save the entered data, or to cancel the operation. So we add a save and a cancel exit. To save the entered data, we add a save database changes node. This will save the new row, together with the entered data. We add a discard database changes node, to implement the cancel operation. This will discard the added row, together with the data the user entered. To edit a contact, we can simply reuse the screen we have just created. And finally, to delete a contact, we drag the contacts data list on the canvas again, and tell WEM to delete the row. This change also needs to be saved in the database. The last step is to design the screens. We double click the contact screen, to open the screen editor. We drag the contacts data list on the canvas, and choose create data grid, and then select the appropriate columns. This creates a tabular overview of all contacts. Then, we drag a button in the lower right corner of the screen, for adding a contact. And we set the on row click property of the data grid, to the edit exit, to make rows with the contacts clickable. We conclude this screen, with adding a column to the data grid, to add a delete button. We turn the button red, and change it into a trash can icon, for a better visual effect. We move on to the contact detail screen. We drag the name field on the canvas, and tell WEM to create a form. Then we add the other fields to the form as well. We finish this screen by adding the save and cancel buttons. Now it is time to test our application. We can execute it by clicking preview. First let's add a contact. Now let's change the last contact date. And let's conclude the test by deleting the contact again. The application seems to work perfectly. Now, let's integrate our application with an ERP system. WIM supports all common standards for integration. 
In this case we will use OData. We give our integration a name. Then we provide WEM with the URL to the descriptor file that was provided by the developers of our ERP system. And with a simple click, our application has direct access to the data in our ERP system. Now we can create, for instance, an overview of the products in our ERP system. Let's create a separate flowchart for that. Just as we did at the start of this tutorial, we add an interaction node. And now we can simply drag the product's data list from our ERP system, on the canvas of our interaction node, to create another data grid. Let's test it out, by previewing our newly created flowchart. As you can see, we can actually view the data in our ERP system. Now, let's end this tutorial with adding a graphical view of this data. In this case a bar chart. WEM provides several libraries of widgets for this purpose. You can easily add a widget library to your project, and then select the appropriate widget. After adding the widget we need to configure it, by setting the most relevant properties. We tell the widget, to use the product's data list as the data source. Next, we drag the product name to the x-axis category property and we drag the unit in stock field to the y-axis category property. Let's view the result. Note that WEM preview, immediately shows the changes to the screen design. The bar chart widget displays the individual values, when you hover the bars, and it even provides an option to download the graphic or the underlying data. This concludes our introduction to WEM tutorial. If you like what you saw, try it out yourself. On the WEM.io website, you can create an account for free, and start developing immediately. After logging in, in the training section of the WEM dashboard, you can find an online WEM Essentials training. This will give you a kickstart. For any further questions you can contact us, at support at pim21.com. Your question might even end up in one of the new tutorials.